Hi, this is Tom English again, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, mental math, what I call mental math. And I've been a big believer in that we put too much emphasis on the calculator, and uh, I see kids uh, just, I mean, some of the simplest things, they have to use the calculator, they've forgotten their, their basic combinations that we talked about uh, in earlier videos. And one of the things that I want to challenge you to uh, take, in some cases, just take the calculator away from them and say, think it through. Uh, many times it's much faster to do it in your mind than to put it on the computer because by the time you put the, the numbers in, you should have uh, had the answer already in your mind. Uh, there are some things that lend itself uh, more for uh, uh, mental... Uh, uh, math than others, and I'd like to go over a few of those examples, but hopefully they'll think of a lot more on their own. Uh, one of the cases, for instance, is, uh, oh, let's say we want to multiply something. Let's say we have 232 and we want to multiply it by 50. Uh, one of the, the uh, easy ways to recognize or to uh, do anything multiplying by 50 is recognize that 50 is equal to one half of a hundred. So the simple thing when you're multiplying by 50 is just multiply first by a hundred and then take half of it. So in multiplying by hundred we know we just move the decimal point over two places. So 232 times 100 is just adding two zeros to it. And then easily we can divide that by two and we get one, one, six, and that's our answer. Again, simple, easy, and you'll do it faster in your head than you will on, on a calculator. Uh, another example is, let's say, multiplying by 25. Well, 25, hopefully, you know, is one-fourth of 100. So you do the same, same kind of thing, and uh, uh, dividing by 4, you can do in your head, as opposed to entering it all on the calculator. Uh, what are some other combinations? Uh, one of the things I like to do, or I generally do automatically, let's say we're multiplying something by 22. Uh, let's say that's uh, 22 by 36. Well, I kind of break that up into, oh, that's 20 times 36, and that's 2 times 36, and then whatever those answers are, add them together. It's easy to multiply uh, by 20 because you just double the number and add a zero, right? 2 times 36 is 72 and the zero on the end. Now, if you know that 2 times, you've already figured out 2 times 36 is 72, so what we do is just to the 720 we add the 72 and our answer is 792. Now, it took me time to write it down but I'm sure you can see that you can do that in your head quicker. And other numbers similar to 22, how about 18? So well, what's that? Well, that's 20 minus 2. So if we were to multiply the same number, 36 times 18, we'd still multiply by the 20 and we'd get 720. But now instead of adding the 72, we're going to subtract the 72. 8 four, uh, uh, six, right? So, again, look for those kinds of, uh, of uh, easy uh, problems. And again, by exercising your mind and doing that kind of mental math, you're going to find, actually, you're going to be much more successful uh, and don't rely on the calculator so much. One of the things I will say, though, you can't do mental math unless you really know those combinations. Uh, you must have those basic uh, 10 by 10 combinations down as uh, again on the very first lesson here we talked about. If you don't have those as uh, and able to spot out those answers as quick as you can do the alphabet, uh, forget the mental math, forget a lot of math, you're not going to be successful. So get those combinations down and then start using them with this kind of uh, math in your head instead of depending on a calculator. Thank you.